Boom! What's going on guys? My name's Zach and welcome back to another After Effects tutorial by me, who hasn't got a clue how to use After Effects mainly, but Miz has asked for a tutorial on how I did the little holographic frame with the video inlay from me last video, which is this, if you just keep 9 on the right hand side. Let's go through it very slowly. So the frame pops up and the video inlay shows and it's got the little, like, outline on it, which is pretty nice. So that's Eddie's video, which I also featured yesterday. Definitely go and check him out, he's awesome. So I'll show you how we do that quickly. Let's have a look here. So X, we'll start again. So I've just imported any old footage I had lying around, just some Planet Side 2 stuff. And the After Effects screen. There we go. Basically all it is, I found it on YouTube, and it's just that. It just pulls it in there. It's got a nice, I mean, the center bit we're not going to be seeing too much because I'm going to mask out the edges. So we can uh, just have the frame bit. I'll leave that bit on there. And we've got Eddie's vid. Obviously needs to go on the top of that. We'll chop that about there. Okay, so the first thing I did to do this, I had to uh, lower the opacity so I could actually see the frame. There, we've got a good view of the frame. And we're going to mask out the actual video so it fits the frame. So I'll just uh, scoop around it, yeah. Obviously, take your time when you're doing it properly, but for this, I'll just scoop around it pretty quick. Just so we're not hanging about for ages. Because I'll end up running out of things to say. Right, there you go. So that's the mask done. We'll just hide that, actually. So you can see that's already looking awesome. And the next thing I did was to... Because the holographic frame has got the black on it from the video, we just need to set the blending mode to add. And that eliminates all that and it gives it a little extra glow as well. And... Oop, I need to bring that opacity back up for Ed's vid. There we go. So we've already got the frame. We've already got the video inside the frame, which is awesome. And one thing I did run into a little bit of trouble with, the actual animation on the on the frame isn't very long so I had to loop a little bit of it. So basically all I did when the frame actually comes into full effect just about here, I duplicated it uh, and that bit there and that piece there and I duplicated it again you found the end of the part just before it all disappears which is there. See the frame is still all in the shot Zoom in a little bit here, just to make it a bit easier. There we go. So it'll probably flash, I mean if you do it properly you'll be able to match up the frames pretty nice, but uh, don't need to do it for here. So you can do that obviously a couple of times, just to make it a bit longer, if you require it. How's that going here? Yeah, that'll do, that's fine. Fine for now. So that means the video will be able to be played longer. In the animation. Now you could slow the time down on the actual animation, but that sort of makes the frame rate of the the frame go a bit funny and it, it looks pretty crap. So you're best off just trying to loop the animation yourself using these layers. Right, so there you go. And the next thing we need to do is to because I had it like on a tilt and on a 3D thing, we need to make um let's have a look here. We need to parent all of the above layers to the main frame. So everything we do to the frame affects the layers above. And we need to make all of them 3D, simply by clicking that. And the main one we're going to be working with is the original frame layer. And actually we'll just pull the video back so we can see what's happening with it as we go. Right, so we need to right click on that, transform the orientation. So we've got the, these are the 3D sort of controls. There you go, you, so you can move it around. So I had it on a slight tilt. Pretty much like that, I think. And that was pretty much it. And also, I did resize it a little bit. Obviously for the vid, but we'll, we'll try and keep it pretty big. Uh, if you hold shift when you're dragging, obviously it keeps the, the scale all in line. We'll check that on the side there. So there you go, I left the loading part empty as it popped up and then faded the video in. So to do that... Yeah, we'll just find the first frame of Eddie's vid. Pardon me. Yeah, we'll just lower the opacity down. Set a keyframe. Couple of frames in. You don't want to go really too far because 
I mean, I, I think I had it flashing on mine. I had put like loads of keyframes with like zero and hundred percent opacity like mixed in, so it flashed on. But for this, we'll just do uh, fading in just so it's quicker. Yeah, let's find some room here. Okay, so there's the fade. Let's just have a quick check. Yeah, it comes on pretty quick. So the next thing I did was I made it zoom from a small size all the way up. And I need to set how small here. Let's have a look. Transform, scale. Probably from like nothing. So we'll zoom that back and we'll set the keyframe. And we'll skip on a bit and then we'll scale it back up to where we'll like it. So there's the two keyframes for the animation scale. So there you go, it comes up pretty slow actually, but you can see the video. I'll just drag that back a bit actually. So you can see. Because I've parented the video with the bottom layer, obviously that scales up in time with it as well and it looks uh, pretty nice. Just about like that. Like I say, you can have the video popping in whenever you fancy, like at the top there. Obviously personal preference and because we've got all that looped it, it'll uh, stay for a little bit longer. Um, the loading screen does actually come with audio but uh, you might have to mute that out on these parts. I sort of faded it out at the end here and left no sounds at, in the middle parts and then right at the end I left it in so obviously you can fade that in as you like. I'll just give these a quick mute and we'll probably be able to give it a play actually. Let's fit it up. Uh, I think that's everything. Pretty much. So, oh yeah, at the end we'll do... Just do this really quickly, actually. So, to fade it out, just use the opacity controls again. But I need to find the end of the animation of the loading bar because it sort of flashes out. There we go, so we've got the frame still in view, we've got Eddie's bird, we'll chop that there, because that's where it's going to be ending. Back into the opacity, set a keyframe for zero. And just like we faded it in, we don't want to fade it out too slow, so we'll just go a couple of frames. Set the opacity back for 100. There's a keyframe. That'll fade out, and then that'll flash away. So that'll look pretty, that looks better than it all just fading out in the same place. Oh, zoom in so you can actually see. There you go. And also, I think I had it, the scale going back down as well, but obviously you can uh, you can do that yourselves when the time comes. So that's pretty much it. That's, that's really simple, but um, just little things like this do, I think, enhance the videos just a tiny bit. I mean, that planet side one, there wasn't really many effects in it apart from that, but obviously the Eve ones, I do try and put like some little things in to make it a little bit better for you guys to watch because I'm sure Eve isn't all that exciting to watch when you it's just like normal gameplay and stuff. So that's it guys. Um, one last thing. Where is it? I've got me assets pack here which I've actually made for Miz and it's got all sorts of stuff in. It's got all the custom glitches I use, smoke and fog, flares, um, the trap cord, plugins and everything, audio react. That's for the like the dubstep capacitor and stuff. That's pretty cool. Everyone sort of likes that. And just some old, um, like it's got the old Stargate sounds in, the motion loop I use for me outro, just like stupid things like that, uh, which I do use quite regular and uh, they are pretty cool. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, I'll put a link to the description once I've actually loaded this because it's going to be like an all night job for me to upload because me internet's crap. But, but uh, as soon, soon as it's up, up, I'll let you guys know and I'll give you the link. Okay, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Anything else, please let us know and I'll try my best to help you out. Cheers for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.